Recently, I started walking for my mental and physical health, but I never imagined that it would impact my creative health, which can be described as how much curiosity, inspiration, and motivation I have for painting and drawing. So in this video, I'll tell you how walking did that for me, as well as a demonstration of all the things that contribute to improving my painting while I walk. First things first, I needed to get some coffee and look at the beautiful sunrise. I mean, this is enough for me to be inspired and call it a good day, but let's really get into the video. As I'm walking, I'm exposed to many subjects and each subject creates lots of questions in my mind and have I drawn or painted this before? How would I paint this or draw this? What color is that? What value is this? How can I simplify this? Am I seeing this right or is this an optical illusion? So I end up drawing and painting many subjects in my head, but I always choose one and just go back home and try to paint it or draw it. And this particular day I chose to actually draw it first. This tree trunk with these little flowers was kind of what mostly caught my, my eye and my attention. I was very curious about how would I go about painting the moss, how can I simplify it. And given the fact that I'm going through the course of draw a box and I'm in the texture studies, I also thought that I could, you know, kill two birds with one stone by trying to practice one of their studies and trying to really see the patterns and really understand the texture of the moss and the tree. And as I do this, I also go over all the questions that came to my head while I was, while I, well, stumbled upon this. And I was thinking, like, for example, what is that texture? Is, is that like a moss? Is it part of the tree? Are, are those things that growing on the side of the tree? Do I need to, like, paint them, like, with, with a brush stroke? Or could they be, you know, implied with watercolors and um, uh, what's it called the granulation of the pigments can I suggest it with that and all these things I also think about uh, uh, while I'm drawing um, to to, to kind of lay down a map for when I try to paint this later the funny thing is that it started walking as I said for mental health and also physical health reasons and it just occurred to me or I just caught myself thinking about all these things while I was walking one day and always coming home and feeling very inspired to paint and draw even though I didn't do it I'm, I'm gonna be honest I didn't actually paint or draw those days but I finally did it today and I thought that it would be a great idea for a video uh, if anybody out there is kind of struggling with, you know, staying inspired or just finding something to paint. I think that going for a walk can be a really good idea, especially if your subject of choice is nature and maybe you live close to a park or your neighborhood is pretty nice and even if it's not you can always find like really cool things all around i mean sometimes i just look at buildings and even though i'm not really good or very into architecture i still feel a little bit drawn by it and all the questions that i have asked before kind of come up in my head and i start just painting and drawing them in my head and that's the thing even though i don't I didn't paint them or draw them physically in my head I'm still picturing it and I think that that is also valuable because you're working your brain your painting brain or your creative brain I don't know however you want to call it but even though it's not happening in the physical world it's just the fact of you thinking about it and picturing it in your head and trying to go over it in your head like rehearsing it is I think it has the same effect and of course I have no proof of, of this but I think that just like in sports visualization can also help you to understand something better and maybe potentially be able to paint it and or draw it much better 
when you actually try. And this is what I thought it was very interesting that you might not actually need to put like brush to paper to actually get some results out of this. Just go out and, and walk a lot and see what something like what strikes your interest and try to paint it in your head and see then if you're inspired not to then paint it in, in real in real life and, and with like brush and paints like I'm doing now. And if visualizing is not something that you find important, what I also found very interesting was that fact that I was going over and over again these questions and one of them was like, should I start here? Should I start there? What is important or what can I skip in, in the sense of like simplifying it? And as I said before, what could I imply with just the granulation of the watercolors? And as well as like, what did I learn from the drawing that I just did? Like, did I do a good job? Did I get the message out of like what that was and my fiance looked at it when it was a finished um, painting and you guys will see it in a little bit she she couldn't really tell she could tell that there was like some flowers and stuff but she couldn't really tell that it was a tree trunk and I understand it it's not the most straightforward tree trunk and it doesn't have the regular textures that you would have like the veins and the bark and other things like that. So I found it fascinating that this movement practice of like walking can really trigger my creative brain and give me so much um, information and also the fact that since I'm walking away from the subject I'm led to think about it more and something else will catch my attention so I have a very limited amount of time to really solve the problem in my head before I move on sometimes I do get obsessed and for example on this tree I was very obsessed with the moss and that texture um, but there's other things that just don't stick too long in my head and I just paint them and draw them in my head and then then I move on to the next thing and I think that's also like you're getting so much variety in such a short amount of time and of course as I said there's nothing there's no scientific proof or anything like that but I'm almost sure that this is something that maybe the greats also did they were always wondering how you paint this or draw that and, and so I find that to be really valuable and I understand that not many of you want to always be improving always be wondering and thinking about painting in a way of like how you get better but at the same time, I feel like it is innate in any artist that you want to get better. And it doesn't mean that your skill needs to get better. You just need to understand things better. Um, the things that you're passionate about. I mean, know thyself. It's kind of the same thing with know thy subject. <laughs> if we know our subject a lot more intimately, I think that we can create better work by just understanding it. It's not really even about our um, mechanical skills. And of course, this is all just my opinion. This is not like hard truth. And please let me know in the comments below if you think I'm wrong or if you have experienced something similar to this. But I, one of the last things that I wanna touch on uh, about this experiment or this happening you can say is that the creative health is a very important thing that I guess nobody talks about it this way and I that phrase of or putting those two words together just kind of came up to me as I was um, trying to really describe what I wanted to talk about in this video creative health is what I said it's about how much curiosity you have for your subject how much uh, inspiration you have, how much motivation you have to learn about it, and also how much drive you have to actually get down and start painting or drawing. It doesn't really matter about what the end result turns out to be. It's just the process of 
getting from point A to point B, the in-between, the process on how you get there and how much you actually get from that, uh, that it's the real valuable lesson from what I got from walking because I didn't set out myself to go out for a walk to learn how to paint or draw better. I just set out myself to go out for a walk and the painting and drawing and the, the curiosity just kind of bloomed out of nowhere. It wasn't out of necessity or requirement. It was just from the heart. And I think that that's something that I especially need to always remember and always uh, keep up my creative health because I've been burnt out before many times because I go into this mode of just wanting to improve and I forget that there are a lot of beautiful moments and beautiful things to admire in this world and I do try to communicate these moments through painting and if I'm not painting then I'm not communicating these things and then what is the whole point if I cannot communicate these things that mean so much to me even though they are so simple like this little tree these moments are precious and they will pass us by if we don't get out there find them and express them in the way that we know best thank you for watching i'll see you next time